Hi everyone, so another little plumbing video for you. Um, push fit fittings, speed fits, whatever you like to call them. Uh, I fitted one the other day and it leaked like a sieve. Now, you may have found this problem sometimes, it only happens now and again, uh, and sometimes you might even get one that leaks after it's been in a few years. What's the problem? Well, it's very simple. I'm going to show you now because I've, I've chopped the fitting up with a hacksaw <laughs> just to show you. <laughs> Here is your fending fitting, leaked. Uh, now I know you can push pipe in and if it's not got a really chamfered end you can push the rubber washer off. But in this instance I've sawn this off um, and here is the washer. And it literally uh, half, well a quarter of it there is gone. <laughs> There's no sign of it, it's obviously gone in, in the pipe work somewhere. Um, but as you can see this really gives you an opening in, into what a fitting is like. Um, with a collet that sits down inside and locks there with this plastic washer and the rubber washer that sits just inside the seat in there. So basically if you have got one of these leaking uh, it really is a case of there's not a lot you can do. Now you can get, I see if you can get an o-ring but it is very difficult to get it mounted back inside so at the end of the day um, chuck it away. But that's what the ring should look like as you can see there uh, and the other end is, is fine. So, just a word of warning, if you do get a speed fit fitting that has gone and is leaking, uh, and that's the result, it really isn't worth trying to get another ring back in there. Tuck it away, start again. New one. Okay, I was asked about this the other day, and it's a little answer to that question. Speed fit, leaking, chuck it away. <laughs> okay, get a new one. Thanks very much for watching. Usual place for my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.